Hey, salam everyone, welcome to Mecca. So right in front of us is the Kaaba and surrounding that it's called Mashad Haram. So I'm um, right now at the Fairmont Hotel and I want to show you how the Fairmont Hotel looks like. And then after that, we're, I'm going to show you the streets of Mecca. So first, let's give you a hotel tour. So this is the hotel room. It's nice, big and spacious. And this over here is a king size bed. But of course, what's beautiful about this hotel room is seeing this view. So let's let's check out more of this hotel. Okay, so here's some luggage and stuff. This this hotel room is a little bit messy just because you know obviously people are staying here at this hotel right now. I'm staying here and some family members. So we got a bathtub over here. Here's the bathroom. It'll just give you a nice view of the bathroom as you're entering the bathroom. Tub to the left. There's a sink. And then to the right is the shower area, a nice place where you could sit down. And then they have two shower heads, so if you're an old person want to sit down or you just want to take a rest on this bench, they got you covered. Then over here is the toilet. And then this, if you're wondering what this is, this just cleans you up after you're done using the toilet. Or if you want, you can use a spraying jet. You have two options. And it's pretty strong. Get you nice and clean. That's me, of course. Okay, so... Get out of this bathroom. This is this room and let me show you. So as you're entering the hotel room, this is the front entrance and here's like a little area, little hallway area. And then let me enter to the right real quick. This is a massive table that could fit like six people. Uh, there's some stuff on the table. My camera gear, that's what I use when I'm outside. Okay, let's see. And then also here's a nice spacious living area. You see there's two long sofas, so two people could sleep here as well. And then also over here, it's beautiful that uh, they give you some nice fruit, some like Arabic sweets over here, as you can see. And also I want to show you this over here. This is like a tea kettle or a coffee kettle. It's pretty cool how they designed it. And you have some Arabic coffee, which I just finished. Then also over here are dates. If you don't know what dates are, they're famous in Saudi Arabia and uh, around the Middle East. People typically love to eat, or people usually eat them in Ramadan or it's all year round. It's filled with a lot of like nutrients. And here's another beautiful view of the Kaaba. So one of the reasons people do book the hotel, I think I mentioned it, is just because of the view. So you can literally have some coffee, have some dates, or just, you know, just relax and just see this uh, magnificent structure. Can never get enough. Okay. So this is the living room over here, another TV. That's this room and then we'll go show you the another bathroom and then another room. Our niece is sleeping so I have to be a little bit quiet. So here's another bathroom similar to the other one I showed you. Okay, nice. And then let's go through this room real quick. So here's two smaller beds, but they're pretty big. They're like double beds. Okay, so this is this room. Another TV. And then going through this hallway area real quick. Here's a little kitchen area where you can make some coffee over here. And this is cafe machine and yeah, we have some tea. Give you a wide variety of things. Cool. Okay, so I showed you how the hotel room looks like. So, yeah, let me be a little bit quiet. So let me show you the streets of Mecca. So let's go out on the street show how the street of Mecca looks like in 2022 and yeah, let's go. Okay guys, welcome to the streets of Mecca. This is how it looks like after Friday prayer. See many guys are wearing white over here and uh, women are wearing black. That's typically because uh, people, when they come to Mecca, they want to either perform uh, Umrah or Hajj. And usually when uh, people perform Umrah, men have to wear white and women have to wear black. Okay. And then just above us is where the clock tower is. Let me see if I can show you guys. I'll walk a little bit more and I'll show you guys the clock tower. That's where I showed you in the beginning of the video. That's where uh, the hotel was, the hotel room. Okay, here's the clock tower right over here. And it was just right across from there. And then if you're on a higher floor, you could see the Kaaba. 
I was here a few months ago. If you're a returning viewer or a returning subscriber, I was here a few months ago and it wasn't this crowded. But now, since everything is opening up for uh, Ramadan and just you know less coronavirus restrictions, this is how it looks like. Uh, Salam. How are you guys? Hello, how are you? Good, alhamdulillah. How are you guys? Very good, fine, thank you. I'm just uh, recording the area, showing people Mecca. Which, which channel is it? Traveling? Solo Logs. Solo Logs. Yeah, on YouTube. Okay. Yeah. Traveling Solo Logs. Yeah. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you too. Where are you guys from? From uh, India. India, okay, nice. So, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Alaikum right, salam. And then on our left, uh, yeah, you can see there's a lot of construction happening over here. Wow. It is very crowded over here. Believe it or not, it's March in Saudi. It's kind of hot, but not like it's bearable. And I just noticed since I came this way, it's going to be hard for me to go the opposite way. But it's okay. I want to show you guys how is uh, Mecca right now. How am I going to get... Uh, there we go. There's a straight ahead... There's the clock tower. You know what? I'm just going to go straight and right to the clock tower because if not, it's going to be hard for me to come back here because of the crowd, you can see. Wow. So let's go inside of the clock tower and something nice about the clock tower is uh, there's a mall inside of here. So there's a hotel and then also there's a mall. Let me show you a quick overview. Uh, do you want to get Zemzem water? Uh, there's like this special oh can you put your channel yeah sure show you real quick you guys are going to be on youtube is that fine it's okay tk okay salam oh that's nice i pushing that old lady wow so beautiful okay if I hit later on, I'll show you more of the streets out of Mecca, but it's just very crowded. I don't know how much uh, I can show you guys right now. But let's, let me show you the mall. And over here, you can see like those guys over there are wearing scarves. Many people from uh, the same country or from the same group, they come to Umrah and they come to, they come to make Umrah at Mecca. They will wear uh, scarves or something like, like for example, like those Uzbekistan people over there are wearing uh, some vests to show they're from Uzbekistan and also to find, uh, to find the group that they're in. Because sometimes it could be confusing if like a lot of people are wearing white and you can't find them. And then here I want to show you real quick, there's some street sellers on the streets. Slime Miss Whack, which is a stick that you it's used to clean your teeth. Mm, wow. You really smell it. So yeah, they're they're selling Miss Whack over here. But it seems like the seems like this guy is wrapping up real fast because uh, the security maybe doesn't want them to do this. And also some guy over here selling some Qurans. Okay, let's go inside the clock tower. Just lost in the maze of people. Uzbekistan. So those guys are from Uzbekistan. Take off my sunglasses. So now we have entered the clock tower mall and it's a massive mall too. And this is how the mall looks like guys. Are you surprised? So uh, this mall, it has like multiple levels on say like five, no let me see, we're on the first floor, second, third floor. Fourth, or it says like four, four or five floors. So this is nice. You can buy a lot of like different like prayer beads or prayer rugs or you know it's good to like sh give your family souvenirs. It's new. I think it's been up like maybe it's like ten years old or less. And 
let me show you a little bit of things with their sign over here. So you see all their sign over here is prayer beads and we have rings. Some uh, water bottles over here. So now, so, sorry. There's Mobiley over here. Here's the, Mobiley is like one of Saudi's like main uh, cell phone providers here. See that guy also selling some prayer beads. And during the prayer time, most of the shops are closed because uh, in Saudi, it's normal like if the prayer is going on, like people to close their shops because there's not going to be any customers and plus people want to pray too. Let me show you real quick some stores before I finish the video. So this guy is a rug store, selling prayer rugs. Selling different perfume and colognes over here, you can see. They'll make you your own like special scent. Okay, so what else do they have? Mecca dates. Look at the wide variety of dates they have over here. Kind of get prices of dates. And these are all per kg. So like for these dates, 53 uh, Saudi Riyals per kg. I'll put the price in dollars just to give you guys an idea. These ones, 230 per kg. Ajwa Jumbo dates. So this is good. Uh, if you want to buy souvenirs, definitely come here. They got you covered and you're right next to the Kaaba too. Seattle's best coffee. There's also a lot of uh, coffee shops here and uh, restaurants too outside, but unfortunately, I can't really go outside right now because it's very crowded. The cinema, yeah, Cinnabon over here. Ooh, look at this oud. This is special over here. They, uh, it's special like bar from a tree, I want to say. Uh, it makes me smell very good. Check it on. It smells really nice, guys. If you ever uh, seen Oud before or you tried it out, you probably know what I'm talking about. It's really good. And if you haven't, uh, I advise you guys to research Oud. It's expensive and it's like really good incense that they use uh, either to like for the home or just to like people going next to it and just uh, smell good. A little kid's toy shop. So they have a lot of like different types of souvenir shops. Nothing over here. Okay. Uh, they have some money exchanges, but they're probably closed because the Friday prayer just finished. So uh, let's go back that way. All right, so I'm back. So I just want to show you real quick a uh, gold shop over here. This is a gold shop. You can see a lot of necklaces and people buying some gold, some watches. And I think you have a good feel of them all. So let me just, uh, let's go back to the center real quick. See if there's anything else to show you. Oh, look at that place. It looks like a half a ship it sells ice cream. Okay, guys, I'm gonna finish the video right now. So please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. I just want to give you a feel of how Mecca is in March of 2022. It's coming back to normal, which is great. And also, uh, yeah, so if you do have a chance, try to come to the Fairmont Hotel. It's one of the nicest hotels here, if, if it fits your budget. If not, there's many other hotels over here and uh, many other things to see. I showed you a little bit because it's Friday and unfortunately you saw there's, it's too crowded. Anyways, guys, take care and catch you later. Peace, salam.